know if I'm gonna show this video and if I do if you're seeing this that means everything went good and I can sleep at night so my house is sold that I'm in but I'm currently in the underwriting process for another house I need space to do what I do um, I can no longer do what I do in the space that I currently have why I am at a point where I need to have like a dedicated closet space that I can also make content in that same area because how I do it in my house now is I have a room for just clothes and accessories and then I have a room for and then I have my kitchen I'm actually creating content in my kitchen. I don't think anybody knows that when they see my when they see my reels. I am in my kitchen. So like while my kid, well my kid and my do, uh, my husband are in eating breakfast, I am setting up all of my lights, doing that. And you know what? I just don't think that is fair to them. Like one side of my dining room table will be all accessories, all junk, and they probably have a sliver to eat off of. And yeah no so i'm like just waiting to hear back right now it is wednesday the fourth no thursday the fourth thursday the fourth and i'm supposed to hear back tomorrow because on april the 6th april the 8th i'm sorry we have to have our financing finalized in order for the closing to go through on time so it has been a whirlwind getting a house is insane like you literally have to give them every single thing i feel naked like i nobody knows this much about like my finances and it's like if this doesn't go through i would be devastated the way i have to put packing into overdrive <laughs> like who's helping me with that I, I i don't even want to take down my clock okay what about my plants what about my mirror what about this mirror who's doing this Oh my god, y'all. I look like a fucking shit show. My fucking... I don't, I don't give a shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, I just got the fucking email. And they were like, oh, we accepted your loan application for the house. I don't think you guys fucking get it. I fucking hustle every fucking. I fucking hustle every fucking day, bro. Every day. And the fact that, like, God sees my hard work and the fact that, you know, like, this is a lot. There's a lot. I was praying. I've been praying to my freaking grandma, my papa who passed away. Everybody, my aunt, aunts, plural. Just like, please, God, please, God, please, God. Yeah, man. I just can't wait to move. I can't wait. I can't wait to get in my new kitchen and organize some shit. <laughs> I can't wait for my new office space to create more videos and get back into my creative juice. You know, like. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to give something to Ava like. You know, like I, it's really for Ava, y'all. I just don't think y'all understand how much I fucking hustle for that little girl, man. Mm -hmm. I want her to see her mom be like a fucking boss bitch. I want Ava to know that she can do it too, you know. I want Ava to be inspired by me. I want Ava to see what I do and fucking do it better. <laughs> yeah.
That's what I really want. Oh. I can't believe I'm taking down my infamous clock. It's so funny because every time I do like content in front of this clock, everybody's like, where is that clock from? I need to know. This was like the best $20 I've ever spent in my house. Like it was such like a focal point and like a con. He don't know I'm talking to y'all. He talking. He think I'm talking to him. Um, he know it's such. It was such a focal point. So I'm like, oh, what can I do? What can I get from Amazon to uh, top this and like the new house? You know. So he really be. He just want. Babe, say something. I know you want to be on camera. Oh my god, I've had this picture for years now. I mean, like when we first moved into our first bedroom apartment together, and I was like, oh my god, we're gonna put it here because of this. But I just feel like no place for this. So this was oh, from Ikea. <sighs> it looks, oh my God. You know that feeling when shit starts to like settle in? My heart's pounding. Okay, so I said I was gonna document. So we're back at it. Ah! Okay, so we just, this morning we closed on the current townhome that we're in. So what does that mean? We signed all the paperwork that we needed to sign in order to transfer ownership to the people that are moving in. So we did that. That was really, um, it was a lot of signatures. It was a lot of information, but it was really good, really good. Um, and uh, then after that, we took Ava to school and then we just, got we just got the u-haul truck so sharif is following me now with the u-haul truck we got like uh the 26 uh the big one to move out of our town home um only because i feel as though uh we got a lot of bs in that garage and y'all if y'all own a home y'all already know like the garage accumulates quick and it's so funny because i felt like we threw out a lot but then like looking at the garage i'm like just this garage alone is that freaking you know u-haul so it's a bunch of mess and i'm hoping that with the new home and with this extra space you know we are um oh hold on sorry sure you called he was like you're going the wrong way Basically, I'm just going the wrong way. Okay, anyway, so that is that. So we are literally about to Ava's at school, which is really good because that gives us like a peace of mind of like getting her out the way so we could do what we need to do and clean up the house. So that is it. Um, I'll just run down like the series of events because I may not jump on here um, t tomorrow or you know the next day. But basically, after we pack up the u-haul today the goal is to leave this entire house empty i think the only thing that will be left uh in the house is our mattress on the floor <laughs> that's pretty much it and i'm actually going to bring that down to the living room so then that way like me and sure we can sleep in the living room and watch tv and chill and vibe and that's where we're gonna be at instead of sleeping in our bedroom so that is what we're gonna do um and like literally and then tomorrow uh because the house is going to be completely empty tomorrow i scheduled my maintenance guy to come which is amazing and he is going to patch up everything in the house like every single thing make it look brand spanking new for these people that are coming oh, so that is that um he's coming first thing in the morning 8 a.m then also too, when he comes, we are gonna be dropping off the dogs to, I call it grandma's house, but it is the puppy hotel. They watch our dogs every time we go to like on vacation or things like that. So they're going there because they utilize the backyard to go to the bathroom and I just want to clean that all up and make it all fresh smelling and whatever the case may be. My mother-in-law is watching Ava. She's spending the night over there. So then we can have like just go time. So she's picking her up right after she gets out of school. And then that way me and Shreve can focus on the actual moving out of the house. And then last but not least, um, we have Sunday, a cleaning lady come to clean up the entire house, which makes life so much easier. Okay. 
easy breezy so that is what we're going to do and that is a series of events and then monday morning what we do is we have this thing called the final walkthrough so everybody can see like what's going on in the house and you know make sure everything is good and we are done we are officially done yay yay <laughs> Yeah, we didn't have nothing. We did new light fixtures. We did new cabinet knobs. We did a bunch. <laughs> End of one chapter. Beginning of the new next one. We appreciate all the memories we had here because we grew our family, we grew our love, we grew our businesses, we grew our success, and we grew as person and people and man and woman. And you know what I'm saying? This is one of the things that you know you gotta embrace and cherish day by day. Live in the moment so that when this moment comes of the next step in your life, guess what? You feel good.